says, preparing and studying, teaching others, meditating. Um, and the last objective that I have on uh, taking time to be holy would be casting down vain thoughts. David said, I hate vain thoughts. And as we need to be reminded that the battle is in the mind. And we talked about earlier loving the Lord with your whole mind. So unless you understand this, you will not win the battle. So uh, vain thoughts that I would like to talk about now would be um, thoughts that come, cause division between brethren. And I'm not talking about the kind of division like denominationalism. I mean the kind that is subtle among ones in the assembly. I mean the flesh creeping out and offending. Or Satan shooting fiery darts your way that cause you to get upset with one another. Brethren, let us battle together united against the enemy. Satan is aggressive. We must remember this. We have to be on guard. So when a vain, vain thought comes your way, skillfully cast it down. These are also called vain imaginations. And Brother Given said this this morning, uh, knowing one another after the flesh blinds us to someone in the spirit. And that's what Satan would have us do. He would have us just to see the flesh. We have to be skillful at not seeing the flesh, and we have to be skillful in not letting our flesh creep out. So we have to take time to be holy. Luke uh, 6.41 said, And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but perceiveth not the beam that is in thine own eye. So if we can look at our own uh, beam and try to get it out, we'll have less time to be focusing on the flesh of someone else. Uh, and not just our brethren here in the assembly, but our, our uh, mates and our family members are our brethren. Lot, lots of us have brethren that are uh, mates or family members. Well, God made a uh, man, and he knew that he needed a helper in the race. So our godly mates are there to help us grow up into Christ. We get to practice being holy on them. And these are people that are with us all the time, so we really get to practice a lot with them. Uh, our brethren are also here to help and nourish and strengthen us. So taking time to be holy would be examining ourselves to see that we be in the faith, provoking one another to love and good works. So brethren, in closing, I say unto the Lord as David did, who am I and what is my people that we should be able to offer so willingly after this sort? For all things come of thee, talking about come of the Lord, and of thine own have we given thee. So what we have, we've, he's given us, we're only giving it back to him. For we are strangers before thee and sojourners, as were all our fathers. Our days on the earth as a shadow, and there is none abiding. O Lord our God, all this store that we have prepared to build thee and house for thine holy name cometh out of thine hand, and all is thine own. I know also, my God, that thou triest the heart and hast pleasure in uprightness. As for me, in the uprightness of mine heart, I have willingly offered all these things. And now I have seen with joy thy people, which are present here, to offer willingly unto thee. So let us come out from the ungodly and be a peculiar people, holy, undefiled, undefiled, separate from sinners, nonconformists to the world, and distinguished from the rest of mankind by our likeness to our master. Let us take time to be holy.